This is doable. Agreed? Everyone agrees? Yeah. When I came here and I saw that there was no Baja, I was like, all right, we need to, we need to start a team. So we turned automotive research and development into an SAE club, Society of Automotive Engineers. From there, we decided where we wanted to go. For the expense to get into the sport, plus everybody's interest in getting muddy, we decided to go with Mini Baja. It took two years before we actually made it to a competition. The first year, the frame was built, suspension was developed, uh, time and financial support was limited, and then the next year, a full car was actually fully designed and built. Financially, we ran out, at, uh, most importantly, time. We ran out of time for that car. And then the following year was our first competition. Well, for the first two competitions, uh, we used the same car. We had very good luck the first competition with the car. We were very pleased with it. And for the second competition, uh, we were low on funds and time, so what we did is we took the car and fixed what we could with it. Tried to improve it in every way or wherever we found faults. We tried to improve the car. We took that to competition and did even better. Uh, we're very happy with our results. We have about 50 pages of rules and guidelines that we have to follow when building a car. What we start out with are drawings similar to these. These are right off of SolidWorks. This is where we design and actually build the car in the computer. We've had uh, many failed designs, and usually that helps us in the end. I'm Daniel Jones. I'm an associate professor of mechanical engineering technology. When you're working on something like this, you can come up with the best design, and, but when you purchase parts and go to put them together, things never turn out exactly like you think they would. And that's where a lot of the real engineering comes in, is to solve the problem, to figure out how to make it work. Competitions are a great experience, not only for our learning abilities, but uh, just a lot of fun as well. We, everybody there has a ton of fun. The memories that uh, we get from there are something that are definitely going to stay with us for a while. The first two days are what's called the static competition. That includes um, our tech inspection. That includes design judging. That's actually the most, probably the most stressful and the most uh, rewarding when you actually finally get through it. There's a number of different dynamic events, which usually are all on um, the third day if you can get through them. There's acceleration, there's braking, where you have to stop in a certain space and lock up all four of your tires. There's also maneuverability, which is designed as far as the suspension and steering of the car, how easy it is to maneuver around tight corners. There's a suspension and traction event. There's also either a hill climb or log pull. The hill climb is a steep hill, which you have to make it up and they either judge you on how far you make it or for the teams that make it the whole way, it's how fast you made it up. And the log pull is a distance uh, for how far you can pull or the time uh, it took you to pull a full pull if you get a full pull. The fourth day, they have a four hour endurance race. First competition that we actually went to was very successful for being, especially for being our first time. There was 140 schools that signed up to compete. Overall, we got 66 place out of those 140 schools. However, the following year, we really stepped up our game. 26 overall pretty much speaks for itself. We feel that we're right on the brink of being one of the elite teams. This project would not be possible at all if it wasn't for the help and the support that we get from the local community. We're looking at between fifteen to twenty thousand dollars to build an entire car from start to finish, and that doesn't uh, that doesn't include travel funds. The SUNY IT faculty and staff has been 
uh, huge in supporting us. I think there's a lot of challenges that are inherent with trying to do things on a very tight budget because they have to be more innovative to overcome problems instead of just buying the things they have to engineer them themselves and I think that's where a lot of the you know innovation and learning comes into place.